So can we uh, dive into a concept uh, of uh, business and spirituality? Right, uh, you're writing your books. You one of the books. The one of the that's the last one or the one that uh, you were still working on. Did you know? Uh, I I uh, finish before this God book. created the business. Uh, yes, so the name of the book is uh, and God creates the business first. Yes, I have another book in the pipeline that concentrated only sales, but uh, my book and God creates the business first. Speak about ethical businesses now. Why I started this? In the past, we, the community, was on the top of the pyramid. And businesses, those tiny things, even that I produce my own food, I really took, I really consume whatever I need. So we were on the top of the pyramid. And since the 17s of the last century, the pyramid start change. Today, we are a new slave because we are in the bottom of the pyramid and we all work for the business success. Everybody is concentrated on S&P 500, in stock exchange, in shares, all this stuff. But what about our life? When I, what I want to achieve by writing this book is bringing or to highlight the concept is that God create us and businesses should serve us instead that we will serve the business must serve us and the UBC by looking on the end consumer through the value chain the UBC is one tool to create this mindset shift but ethical as a whole business ethics and being ethics in your business with your employees, with your stakeholders, can give you a huge advantage. And you can take part in creating a better world. Yeah. That's the purpose of my book. Yeah, so when I hear the word um, ethical, that's uh, one of the values, right? The principle. When I yes. hear spirituality, it's also one of the principles. But at the same time, when you say uh, this person is spiritual, in my mind, it's uh, right away multiple things, right? You right away know that this person uh, is has mm -hmm. compassion. You right away know that this person is very strong with uh, holding the anger, not being explosive, right? Very collected, very set, has a strong foundation, right? Also kind, also probably uh, knowledgeable in the uh, people like they their intuition is uh, very good right they also know that there's a the inner side produces the outer right so like the whole the idea of the whole of uh, compassion empathy is to understand that everybody has skeletons in the closet you can't just see fault uh, in others and uh, go for it or like you said the ethical it's not just integrity it's for a company to me it's like not just focusing on the profits and the squeeze everybody and step all over everybody to meet that uh, bottom line, well, you're saying it's S&P 500 and where we are with the... Uh, so basically finding that balance. So is that what uh, you're implying the, in... Uh, so like if we working with the teammates, the whole leadership approach, recruitment, the environment, how we engage our employees, our marketing approach, sales, basically you're bringing the inner aspect. Yes, and more than this. When I wrote the book, I returned back to the source. And the source are the holy books. I investigate the major religious in the world, Christianity, Judaism, Islamic, and Hindu. And you can find very common things. Everybody speaking about the same things, about being an ethic person, bringing value. And the, when I check it, through the business, I found, for example, Christianity talk about compassion. Judaism speak about corporate social responsibility. Back then, they spoke about it. Islamic, for example, speak about ethical investment. Our grand-grandfather gave us a gift that for thousands of years, millions of people, we lived under the same holy books under the same rules, only in the last 15 years, 40 years, 
everything changed. So the question is why? And my answer is as follow. Until this, I remember myself sitting together with my family at dinner. Before that, our parents and their parents sitting around the fire and talking one each other and consume only the things that they are really needs. But today, we are not family-centric. We are social media-centric. And we buy because businesses use an aggressive marketing campaigns with psychology tricks, not to force us, but to bring us into a situation that we will buy more than we really need. What happens then? We buy more, we need to earn more money, businesses create more money, and we are going down. I see. That's where what you mean by ethical. So you're not necessarily over-provoking, not attempting knowing the hidden psychology tricks to no tricks. create more profits for the company, focusing more on the producing true value for the whole chain. Yes. Do you know wow. there are so many problems in this world? Every place that you will analyze, there are plenty of problems. Poverty, climate changes, wars, all over the world. So I ask myself, why businesses should focus only on forcing you, in a, by legal aspects, but it's actually forcing you to buy more from their product instead of thinking and acting by being an innovative company that innovate solutions to the society well-being. Okay, for example, there are problems with, I have four kids, all of them has an ADHD, big issue. So why not finding a true solution that will solve their problem instead of giving them pills? Why not take the technology into and create sophisticated and very easy to use solutions that first grade kids that suffer from this will, will be able to handle his problems. Now, in every aspect of our life, there is a problem, but companies should think ethically on one hand, and on the other hand, entering, implementing, adopting the innovation concept in every step that the businesses act, do, think, and work.